Hi, in this demo, I want to show you that you can use guest users that you invite uh, to your community and then check out Office 365 files or Teams uh, files that are in channels. Cool, let's take a look. We have our contact here, Jack Rogers, and our contact is obviously linked to a user, and this user is uh, a community user, as you can see over here. And this is how the contact is linked to the, uh, to the user. In our Teams setup, we currently have uh, a team created for uh, the uh, um, for the community, and also we have a private channel, as you can see over here. And in this case, we have uh, decided to call the private channel the same as the name of our uh, account. Obviously, if you want to make sure, uh, if you want to change it into the name of a project or any other name, that's perfectly possible. You just uh, we just selected this for the demo reasons. So, if going back to our team, we can see in our team that there is at this moment a um, managed channel, that there is no uh, members, guest members uh, assigned here. So, there is no guest members, and that's perfect because without guest members, we're now going to have to add a guest member to, uh, to this team and to this channel. And we can do that uh, easily via Collaboration Butter APIs. So, what we have done here is created an uh, uh, flow. In this flow, we're going to get the contact and the user. Uh, then if all the information checks out, we're just going to invite the member to the, uh, to the channel. And then this uh, member has access to the channel. Okay. We can do this via this button over here. So I'm just going to add this member to the channel. So now the confirmation is going to go that via my private email address, do you want to add this, uh, uh contact to this account? Yes, I want to do that. So I'm going to click the next button and then it's already done. This, uh, the invitations have been sent out. Let's take a look into, uh, uh, into SharePoint because now if uh, I'm going to refresh the view over here and I'm going to do uh, manage channel again, you would see that there now is a guest user and this guest user is my private email address, as you can see right over here. It's a little bit confusing because my uh, guest user and my uh, normal user have the same name, but they have a different email address, obviously. Now, uh, we are going to work via a community. So on the uh, experience uh, uh, builder, we have set up a PDF button, uh, sorry, a collaboration butter component. And in this collaboration butter component, we have done the configuration. So we have uh, selected a specific uh, URL for the site and drive of the community that we have uh, taken here from a formula field in Salesforce. As you can see, the formula field nicely uses the, uh, uh, the name of the um, account to put inside the uh, inside the link of the community. So everything is fully dynamically set up and with this formula field, that's a great way to control how the uh, community link should be uh, should be managed. And if at a certain moment you want to change or you need to change something, then obviously that's just one formula to, uh, to update. Um, uh, we have invited Jack already to this community. Uh, Jack already has access to this community. So what I can do now is just go to the community and I have opened that in a different browser. So now I'm in a different browser and in this browser, uh, I can log in via my uh, username and then make sure that uh, I'm logged into the community. Once logged into the community, obviously, I can now go to the account and on the account, take the second, first one for Burlington uh, Textiles of uh, America. You can see now I have fully access to the uh, <clears throat> to the channel that was created, the private channel that was created for this one. So I can even, uh, because we have allowed to uh, open up the um, uh, the SharePoint, that is an, uh, this one is not checked, disable open in SharePoint, there is an, uh, an option here for the community user to now just say, okay, open this in SharePoint directly. And you can see that this is now uh, the, uh, the private channel that was created def uh, directly for Burnton Textiles Corp of America. Me, as, an, uh, um, as a guest user, I can now just go into, let's say, uh, my downloads folder and I can just uh, drag and drop a file over here. And uh, obviously that file will be added directly into uh, SharePoint uh, or into Teams. So if I can take a look in Teams here and I would go 
to files, you would see that this uh, file is now there and was added a few seconds ago by Igor.star. So that's the guest user. Now, let's say that you want to have an, uh, a non-guest user also up uploading files. Maybe they do that via collaboration button. Maybe they do that directly here on the, uh, uh, on the Teams channel where they are working on. Uh, both are possible. Let's say that I want to update some kind of an NDA. So I'm going to update the file over here and the file is now updated and you can see that it's a different uh, user. So this is my Office 365 user from my company and the other file was from the guest user. Now, if I go back into the uh, into the um, community, uh, I just refresh my components by clicking on this one, on this uh, link over here. And you can already see that the uh, new file is there. And I can even take a look at the preview of the new file. So uh, I can also download that file directly from here, all part of the configuration that is set up inside uh, Collaboration Butler.